Good morning and welcome to another Sunday video which I will pass to Karen to edit and good luck Karen getting the flowers the right way up and the um, hummocks in the right end of the picture but I'm sure everybody will forgive you if you haven't got the now expert Katie on hand to um, assist. Anyway, I would like you to look very closely at this piece, which is from the early 18th century from the Moncaster Castle collection. And it's one of the pieces that fascinates me. Um, you may be aware that we uh, replicated a slightly earlier piece with the help of Harriet Roberts replicating it. And um, you will see that on our website. But this piece is a little younger, about 10 or 15 years. And on this piece, you will see that it's a combination of laden couch work, um, spot motifs and long and short soft shading and some cool stem stitch. So if you look at the way the colours graduate, which I've talked about quite a lot on other pieces from navy through the greens through to the yellows, you'll see that there are various shades of reds and pinks on this piece as well. And this really reflects the increased sophistication in dye techniques where you could actually have graduated colours on a piece of um, needlework. So the, the, you don't get the sort of rather blocky look with the Elizabethan bright colours. Uh, we'll move on to the next image and that will show you a bird. Now, um, this bird is worked mainly in long and short soft shading, which I know Katie had a little struggle with in our daily videos, but this piece is worked in incredibly fine thread, much finer than the large Muncaster hanging we had made as a kit. And it's a bird of paradise, a pea hen probably, and uh, it's rather wonderful, rather wonderful. Maybe this one's the peacock. Of course, the uh, bed hangings very often had the sort of male and female in form and in bird and animal um, depiction. And this one just is a solid block of long short soft shading. But look at the subtlety in the changes of colour. And these really lovely turquoisey colours, which seem to come in about the end of the 17th century, but they seem to go wild with them um, in the early 18th century. And I just think this, although this looks complicated, the colours are quite simple, really. Pale pink through to red. Um, almost a white pink through to red and then very very pale soft whitey green through to the uh, dark navy so through the blues. On this piece as on the main Muncaster the original one that we replicated um, the eyes are well will have had little black beads seed beads as the eye and I always think this brings the animal alive and I always use it on my cruel work. I don't just use a French knot as many do. Um, you can see the uh, rose on this piece and uh, other leaves that would be very familiar to people at the time but the exotic bird certainly is a touch of the wonderful. This amazing bird I think it's probably a liar bird. I'm sure there'll be people all over the world who'll be screaming at the screen saying, no, 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 that's the bird that's at the bottom of our garden in Hawaii or somewhere. So please do um, let me know. I'm really interested. And again, on this piece, you'll see laden couch work in the middle of the flower. It looks like a sort of clematis type of flower. And um, there are little uh, individual stitches uh, making up the filling which is, of course, much quicker than lots of long and short shading. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll see little spots there, um, individual fly stitches. And uh, I think that looks like a cross there. Um, and not being with the piece, of course, and a magnifier, I am just looking at the photograph just like you. But perhaps you'd like to blow this up on your screen and press the uh, plus button, the shift, and then the plus button on the top right corner of your um laptop or computer. This is the same bird but on a different day so you can see that this is a different camera but um, perhaps you can see the stitches in more depth here. Using these very th fine threads and very subtle changes of colour mean that you can actually really give the piece shape and you can look at the perspective of the piece as well and um, note that the tail would have been worked first and then working your way up through the body and then the wing um, would be the right hand wing would be added last. So the left hand wing and the tail added first 
and then the uh, so you work background to foreground. And on this area, you see a, the use of a sort of orangey red, slightly madder, but a different tone in it. And that certainly seems to go into the Georgian period. So at this time, Queen Anne was on the throne, so very early 18th century. And uh, she was a very wise ruler who took advice from her experts. And I want to leave you with that thought. And um, Britain prospers at this time. So, uh, you know, experts, let's all listen to them and keep safe. I wish you well. Bye-bye.